I just got this cool Arduino Giga Display Shield. It works with the Arduino Giga R1 Wi-Fi. Anyway, this thing's a monster. Let's check it out. Well, first thing first, the screen is really pretty big. I mean, here's my hand there. You can see it's like a 3.97 inch display. So nice big screen. It's definitely hefty. It's got a built-in microphone and a place where you can attach an ArduCam camera. So apparently you can have like the camera up here and you can actually display the image here. That seems like that might be kind of fun. It's got an RGB LED built into it. It's also got an inertial measurement unit on the back. I guess and that's it right there. It's like a gyroscope, you know, it can tell the position that it's in. So that's pretty cool. It's got library support so that when you touch it, it will tell you how many contacts. I think there's up to five different contacts it can read. And it will tell you the location of each one of the contacts. So that's pretty neat. I imagine it should really help you make some pretty neat um, graphical user interfaces that you can build. The display shield is built for this Giga R1 Wi-Fi board. I mean, you could really build something pretty crazy with this, I think. Um, and what's neat about, you would think, you know how most shields attach like on the top, right? So you would expect this to attach on here. Well, they have these pin headers like on the inside of the board. So at first I thought like, oh, you know, it attaches on the inside and you can attach it like this. Uh, like that. I won't do it, but what they what they have done, which I think is really cool, is you actually can attach it right through the back, so there's like holes on the back, so you still have access to all your pins, and it just fits in through the back. That's pretty sweet. I don't know. The way that fits together, I just think it's pretty stinking cool. I mean, if you're trying to build something slick, I think this would be great. I think the best way to start using this shield is just to play around with some of the example programs that Arduino's created. So we'll link to the description to this page, but they've got some different guides they've made for using the different features on the board. The one that I've checked out the most is called the LVGL guide. And this relies on this graphics framework. It's called the Light and Versatile Graphics Library. I've never used it myself outside of just these examples. So in the guide, they'll walk through the libraries you need to install to use the example programs. And they do a pretty good line by line of the different pieces of code. They've got a minimal example that kind of builds these boxes and columns and stuff. Then they have, uh, they show you how to upload an image. Actually, this one was probably the most difficult for me because you have to convert the image and stick it in the same Arduino sketch folder, and I was just having an issue with the uh, image conversion. Turned out to be really easy. I'll link to the image converter in the description for sure. Okay, so you can upload images to it, and then they've got a little checkbox example that's kind of neat. They've got a radio button example. They've got a slider example. They have a little bar example, and they've got a button example. So lots of stuff to work with, lots of little, you know, graphical user interface kind of modules that you could use to build out. So that's kind of neat. And that's just one of their guides. They also have like a graphics guide. I believe this is actually built on top of the Adafruit library. It just allows you to use the, the Adafruit graphics library with this Giga Display Shield. They've got stuff on using the microphone, the inertial measurement unit, and using the camera. So all in all, I'll say, hey, it's pretty darn neat. Now, if you're new to Arduino and you want to learn how to code stuff like this, check out this video next. It's going to teach you all about the basic Arduino stuff in 90 minutes. It's a great video. People love it.